one of the primary assignments of prayer listen is not to petition god to meet needs it's not even an instrument of warfare to ward off the power of darkness it's not just a spiritual system of legislature one of the major assignments of prayer and this is where many believers continue to miss it prayer was originally designed to change you let me show you a scripture luke chapter keep standing luke chapter 9 thank you holy spirit luke chapter 9 luke chapter 9 please be sensitive tonight luke chapter 9 from verse 29 everybody read one two read and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white glistening he prayed and nothing around him changed it was him that changed when he prayed his countenance changed his raiment changed you can change yourself in prayer did you hear what I said? You can change like a, how many of you have seen a snake molting? It's a system by which they grow, they expand, they come out of their former self into a new self. So when you see that snake, the the the, the former self, the, the shell of it that is left is the former one. You can pray yourself into a newer version of yourself. You can pray yourself into a wiser version of yourself. You can let me tell you this prayer is not the only key but whenever prayer is not the key it becomes the hand that holds the key if prayer is not the key then it is the hand that holds the key to the door everything plus prayer increases you knowledge plus prayer increases you grace plus prayer increases you are we together? And as he prayed, he didn't say his situation changed. No, he didn't say as he prayed. Those there were times that he prayed, and people from a distance were blessed. But this time around, as he prayed, he was the one changing. We're going to see pray a few minutes. This prayer is not for my father. This prayer is not for my bank account. This prayer is not, oh God, take darkness out of my life. This prayer is change me. This is not the best fashion of me. This is not the best. It's, it's, like an, it's like an incubation room. Bring something out of my prayer life, oh God, that is not what went in. Is someone praying? Lift your voice. Pray. You are praying to be changed. You are not praying for things to change. You are praying to be changed. Your eyes on Jesus and pray. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. Do not say I'm tired. Do not say I'm weak. That's a lie of the devil. Do not say I can't pray. You pray for your destiny by praying for yourself. Change things by changing. Take this weak version of myself to a strong version of God. Take this weak version of myself, this weak version of a man of God, this weak version of a woman. This weak fashion of an entrepreneur, this weak fashion of a career person, let it be replaced by a strong one. There is power in prayer. Pray yourself to strength. Pray your way to authority. Pray your way to power in the spirit. Pray your way to strength. But the people that do know their God, 
they shall be strong. Pray your way to faith. Shabakata brata kata kata, embra kata 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 kata, shekata bro samara kata dika tos, embra kato teke 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 ta, shabran dos kabara kato shekata dika ta. That thy prophecy may appear unto all. That thy prophecy may appear unto all. That thy prophecy may appear unto all. Your prophecy will never, never, never appear unto all by default. You must pray your way to results. Pray your way to real power. Pray your way to strength. Pray your way to real anointing. Pray out weakness from your life. Pray out fear from your life. Pray your way out of lukewarmness. Pray your way out of doubt and unbelief. Hallelujah. Please listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Greatness is what you attract to your life by reason of what you are becoming. More than by reason of what you have. Your results a reflection of the transitions happening in your life or otherwise it is cheaper to change yourself than to change things because when you change things must change everything in your life is a statement to your destiny this is where you are in the spirit this is where you are in knowledge this is where you are in destiny instead of shifting things one by one shift yourself and everything will rise to follow you you truly change things by changing you don't change things it's harder to change things one by one everything you draw to your life is a reflection of what version of you when you change your results change when you change even the operation of the spirit over your life changes he does not relate with everybody the same way at every dimension no hallelujah it's important we pray the biblical way to deal with weakness is to pray <laughs> 